The overall goal of this procedure is to evaluate cognitive performance under exposure to emotional content. This method can help answer key questions about cognitive processing, such as how do we perform on a focal task when irrelevant emotional stimuli are present, and particularly when words match the tested pathology or anxiety of the patient. The main advantage of this technique is that it is objective, not intrusive, and is not based on participant self-reports. At the present moment, this procedure was robustly established only at the group level. In the future, it may possibly extend toward individual patient diagnosis of anxiety disorders. Demonstrating the procedure will be my lab manager, Elia Vikasis. Begin by creating two lists, one of emotional and the other of neutral words. Use generally emotional words such as hate or pox and neutral words that are preferably orthographic neighbors to the emotionally relevant words such as gate or box. For each word on the list, write its length in characters as well as its estimated frequency in the appropriate language in order to match the word lists on lexical factors. Select words for each list by adding pairs that match in length and frequency and that are orthographic neighbors of one another. If a complete match is not possible, add a pair of words with a small gap in frequency to balance the bias of frequency from the incomplete match. Ensure that each final list contains 20 to 50 words in each word category in order to have a minimum of 20 trials in a block, thus avoiding repetition of words and thereby habituation.